Hey everyone, it's Edward from shoestringaffiliate.com and I wanted to do a video overview on a tool that I've been using to do all the SEO tasks for my website. This tool is called SEO Power Suite and I've been using it every day for almost a year now to optimize my website and to help me get more organic traffic. Now I learned about this tool from an individual by the name of Matthew Woodward and he's an SEO expert out of the UK and someone that I've been following for a while because I think he, he's demonstrated to me that he knows a lot about SEO and he puts out very good content around the topic. And so for you to get a good understanding of how SEO Power Suite works and how it can help you optimize your site and better rank your content, I'm going to be using a website that I made for about three years ago to demonstrate the features of this powerful software. So what is SEO Power Suite? Well, as you can see here on the website, SEO Power Suite is an all-in-one software that consists of four separate programs, and they're designed to help you with every aspect of your SEO. We're moving over here onto the menu right here. You can see that the first tool is called Rank Tracker. And what this tool does is it helps you track the rank of any of the keywords that you have on your website. And it also helps you do keyword research. And it doesn't matter which search engine, you, you like to use, I have a preference of using Bing, but you can use it on get, uh, Google. You can use it on Yahoo as well. Um, those are the main ones that they seem to have in the software that you can set up. Um, and, and you can do it worldwide, but I'll get into more of that when I actually do a, another video just on rank tracker itself. Um, and another thing about this tool that I like is that you can also check the rankings of your competitors and see how you stack up against them. Um, and, and it does a whole bunch more, right? Uh, the next tool is called Website Auditor. And what this allows you to do is to do a technical audit of your website structure and all the content. So in essence, you can do all your on-page SEO uh, and fix all the things that are broken with your, your site. And as I said, it helps you find any issues that might be holding you back uh, with your SEO efforts, such as duplicate content, uh, broken links, or poor meta tags, uh, you name it. Anything that, that's associated with on-page uh, SEO, you can pretty much catch it uh, using this software. The third tool in this suite is called SEO Spyglass. And what this does is it helps you analyze your backlink profile, and it highlights all the links that could either be helpful or harmful to your website. Uh, it also allows you to do uh, spying on your competition and it gives you valuable insight on what they're doing um, to get links or, you know, build their backlink profile. And, and that's pretty cool because you can take a, a backdoor peek of what's going on behind your competitors and copy what they're doing. And then rounding out the SEO Power Suite software is a tool called Link Assistant. And what this does is it helps you automate the process of link building. Now, when I say that, don't get confused with like, you just click a button and then you go ahead and it does it automatically. No, it helps you find potential link partners and then it helps you with email outreach where they, they have a bunch of templates built in, but you, you want to personalize it. You don't want to use the cookie cutter um, templates that they have. And like, again, I'll show you as I do the individual breakout for each one of these. So that's pretty much uh, what SEO Power Suite is. Um, and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to minimize this window and I'm gonna open up Rank Tracker, which I've already had running in the background. So basically this is the dashboard and here's the project that I created for that website that I told you I had made a couple of years ago. Um, so what I'm gonna do just work all on the left side and then I'll get back to what's in the middle uh, when I do an individual breakout for the software. But for now, I just want to just take you through um, the menu items to show you the things that uh, are available to you for the rank tracking. So like I said before, I use this basically to do keyword research and to keep track of all the rankings, just like the program says. So when you open it up, start a new project, what you're going to do, uh, well, from the left side, what you can see, uh, we'll start off with the ranking summary. 
So what this is, is just basically uh, the search engines and how they see your website or uh, can they see your web website or what percentage of your website uh, is getting um, tracked in the uh, search engine. So I've, obviously I haven't done much on this. This only shows 5%, um, but it gives you a nice little report and you'll see that again at the bottom in reports. Uh, going on to rank tracking, these are all the keywords that I have for this website right now. And I think it's about like 30, uh, 33 of them. Um, and like I said, I'll go through each one of these categories or uh, tabs uh, in the next video uh, specifically for uh, rank tracker. Keyword map. Now, when you have a keyword, you have your website, you want to map that keyword to that website so that when that web website is found, um, it's letting you know that, hey, it got found because of this keyword. And that's what the website see. And it'll give you what's driving that. And on this one, it's a review, like more of more in that to come. In the middle here, this is where I do, you know, basically this is the meat and potatoes of this program. Um, but there's a couple of different research methods that you can do. Um, there's a lot of them available to you, but you, typically what I do is I just uh, stay in autocomplete tools, related searches and related questions when I do my keyword research. Uh, but just going down the list, you have your ranking keywords. So what this is, is you put in your website over here. Uh, you select whether you want domain, subdomains, prefixes, and the prefixes are uh, say this is portable counter top dishwasher.net slash blog. That'll be the prefix, or you can just go ahead and put it, the exact URL either way. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull all the keywords that that website is generating or has been found through the search engines, more or less. You know, when I say that, um, every keyword that's on your, your website, that's what it's going to pull up. Keyword gap is another tool. And I just went ahead before all of this recording and put in a, uh, a website that I know that it's a competition of mine. And what you can do is you can compare the keywords that your competition is using versus what you're using, right? So this is all the stuff. And if I just put in dishwasher and I'm slow on typing cause I'm doing this with one hand, but here we go, dish. Any keyword that pops up on apartment therapy um, should be on mine. So if you're doing any kind of competitive analysis, this this will help you see what the gaps are and then what you should be going for. And where it shows you placement is where they rank for that keyword and what is driving the keyword. In this case, it's a thumbnail. And I believe this is a, uh, yeah, this is a thumbnail. Yeah, so this, this legend where this image is showing that a thumbnail is driving this. And this is what you'll see on the, uh, the search engines. Search console, you have the ability to connect your search console and your Google Analytics. <laughs> analytics, Analytics. Uh, you can use Linux as an operating system for this. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, but you can connect your Google Search Console and your Google Analytics um, and then select the project or, you know, just like you said, by, like I said before, the website exact URL, or if it contains a certain um, phrase or, or keyword, you can search that way. Keyword planner is just like Google keyword tool. I typically stay away from this because when you put in a keyword, it's gonna pull up a lot of keywords that pretty much will be irrelevant to uh, your search. And I like to like really be surgical with the keywords that I, I select uh, and this tool helps me. So rather than just get, you know, throwing things against the wall and seeing what sticks, I usually like to narrow it down. And the way I do that is I use the autocomplete tools. So in this one, I put the uh, countertop dishwasher um, and it'll show you all the keywords that are found and then on which search engine, all right? So I got it defaulted to Google, but you could switch over to Bing, rerun the search and it'll show you what pops up in, in Bing. Same related searches. So when you're in the search engine, if you're on Google, um, 
you go down to the bottom and it's going to show keywords related to the search that you're doing. And that's pretty much what this is. So you'll put it in keyword and then it'll pull up all those related searches that are down at the bottom. And then related questions, this is more al along the lines of uh, the people ask or also ask. So I do autocomplete questions. So when you type in a question and then like do a space, you'll see that it'll complete and it'll have a bunch of questions. So that's what that questions autocomplete is. And then the people also ask, you're familiar with that. TD, TFIDF Explorer is term frequency inverse document frequency. It, I hope I got it right. You can look it up. But basically, I, 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 I related along to keyword gap. What it's going to do is it's going to, you put in the topic keyword and it's going to pull up that keyword that your competitors are also using and how many times they're using it throughout their article. So that that's a good metric or a measure of what you should be doing in your art, uh, article. So for instance, if countertop dishwasher comes up four times in an article, um, you should have at least four times. And, and it kind of helps you with keeping you on target as far as uh, uh, word stuffing or keyword stuffing. So um, it, it, I, I use it just as a last minute check or last ditch check before I go to like public with an article and then keyword combinations, you got a word mixer. So typically if you have more than three words that make up a keyword or more or less like a long tail keyword, what it'll do is it'll just mix all of those words up and come up with different versions of it. Um, and then maybe you, you can use that. And, uh, I've seen some versions where the words are like, mixed up or, or spelled improperly, but they're getting hits on the searches. And then lastly, just the keyword sandbox, every keyword search that you do will culminate or accumulate here in the sandbox. And then what you can do is you can actually filter out, um, different aspects. Um, so you can kind of, if you want, just as far as if you're going by keyword difficulty, you can set it up to where you want to see keywords with, let's say less than, yeah, let's just do it. So here's a filter number of searches. Let's just say keyword, keyword difficulty is less than, let's say 40. Say, okay. And then what it's going to show you is less than 40. So anything less than 40 and let me just adjust this to where, so now I can see, I can stay. If I'm, if I'm a brand new website, I can go ahead and target like the green ones or the barely touching yellow ones. And those are pretty easy keywords. Even though the difficulty says 36, it still will be in that range. Um, and then I just get rid of the zero ones because now you, now you're just kind of spinning your wheels with that. But, there is a little trick. Sometimes I do check it with the SERP analysis and that's what this, uh, little symbol right here, this bar graph, you click on that, it'll take you over here to SERP analysis. Now I already went ahead and did one for the keyword for the website, portable countertop dishwasher. And so it's doing an analysis of the keywords, uh, showing, you know, all the different pages. So in this case, portable countertop dishwasher, I went ahead and let me minimize this and open up this. I did a, a keyword search for portable countertop dishwasher. And as you can see, it'll pull up all the, uh, the positions and who's on top. So here's Amazon. Here's Home Depot. We got good housekeeping. So this should reflect in the program um what you're seeing in the the search engines so there we go amazon home depot good housekeeping and it, it correlates to what you're seeing in the web but what it does is it gives you a good snapshot without having to bounce back and forth so you see all the competition you see the page strength and so page strength or page in link rank and uh domain in link rank that's basically this program uh, uh, this software's 
uh, version of page rank. So it lets you know how strong uh, the competition is as far as uh, domain age. And, and there's all these factors come into play um, based off of the link assistant algorithms. And I will tell you that they update this program regularly. Now this is a desktop software. So when you don download it, um, you'll have the, uh, the software on your desktop, like I do right here and you launch it. Um, but they do a pretty good job of, uh, updating the algorithms. I keep this thing running, uh, pretty much 24 seven and don't shut it down. And I'll walk, I'll come in and I'll see like, Hey, there's been an update dialog box. So it updated overnight or, you know, while I wasn't using it, but here it just gives you a good graph of what the average page rank link is. So it kind of gives you the keyword difficulty. Are you wasting your time going after this keyword? And so at the time, you know, I did my due diligence, but, um, I didn't do it good enough to where I was really ranking. And then I got frustrated and kind of walked away from the project. But with this, I'm actually going to go back and try to revitalize the uh, program. Um, we're going on to the next module. And this is actually pretty good because there's some correlation. I, I kind of bounce back and forth before I actually settle on a keyword and I'll, I'll look, use this to really study how good the keyword is and is it, is it worth my time? So using the competition, you can actually go up and add different uh, competitors. Uh, in this version I have, I have uh, the professional version. So I'm a, I only get like five uh, uh, competitor entries that I can make, but if you get the enterprise version, you can do like 50 of them. But for me, my little old self, a shoestring budget, uh, this is enough for me, but you can go ahead and you can see what, um, the competition is as far as your, and then this one, I got a default at the top pages. So let me just start from the beginning and go domain competitors. So you go ahead, you'll, when it, you open it up, it'll be by itself and it'll just have this, uh, dialogue box, the input boxes you put in your, your website, you the figure out your default, whether you want to do it by domain, exact URL or, or whatever, and it'll pull up the competition. So in this case, I did it from the domain and according to the program, these are my competitors. All right. Now, a lot of these competitors, these are like actual businesses. So that was like mistake number one and not understanding who my competition was. Um, I saw a couple of guys or, or gals in it and, apartment therapy was one of them. So I kind of figured, okay, these are the people I would just do a keyword research, see who are in the top 10. And that was my competitor. But then, you know, now I'm looking at a topic that I'm writing about. So if I'm writing about a countertop dishwashers, all right. Or in this case, let's say portable countertop dishwasher. Now, these are my competitors who I'm competing against just for this keyword. All right. Or this topic, if I write a topic around it, so you can see how this is beneficial on knowing who your competitors are and who you're going up against. And in top pages, you can actually put in, uh, the, uh, competition. So in this case, I put in apartment therapy and on the page, the top pages on this site, this is what comes up. Now you can actually go in and break this down a little bit further by like, okay, what keywords well, let's just put in the page that's driving the most traffic. So fiddle leaf fig trees, ficus lyrida, whatever that is, um, that's generating a lot of traffic. What are those keywords? There's 620, 21 keywords that are driving that traffic. And that page has got pretty strong, uh, ranking. So, you know, that, yeah, you might have a, a tough time and then you can see the actual keyword that's driving, um, the traffic, All right? So this is a good tool in the sense that it can tell you like when you're looking for keywords, uh, whether or not you got garbage or you got a good thing. I typically go for keywords because this site, uh, when uh, this site, I'll just treat it as a, a new site. I would go for, you know, uh, keywords that were in the green. And so if I go back to my, uh, keyword research. I kind of did that, but then, you know, I missed out on some of the, so the, some of the other metrics 
uh, and we'll go into more of that. I, I didn't do my due diligence. And so I actually picked keywords right here. Here we go. Where the competition was high. And rather, I like to go for the keywords that are green and low. And it may not have a lot of traffic, but, you know, it's getting that low hanging fruit and starting to drive traffic. Uh, domain strength just tells me if you have like age refs or uh, sim rush, it'll give you a rating of how strong your, uh, your page is or your domain. Uh, this domain is five years old and I bought an age domain, uh, but I haven't done enough work to drive traffic to it. So, uh, the ratio or the rate, the scale that they use uh, for link assistant is one through 10. So I barely bust one. All right. So I had definitely got some work to do. Um, and this is just another visualization of the website, uh, how it's showing up, how many backlinks, uh, how much, how popular it is in social media and the traffic. Um, and so this is pulling actually from my Google analytics, um, the sessions that are happening over a period of time. So it's a good visual. And then you can kind of get the same thing with the reports. Domain strength is the one I was looking at just now, but you can do by uh, keyword rank and visibility. That was that first page. You can do by ranking of your competition, uh, grouping by search engine. So a whole bunch of reports, like I said, a lot of information, um, but we'll go through uh, in another module or another video and we'll just go like do a, from start to finish a complete keyword research and then selecting uh, or looking at competition and going through the whole uh, nine yards. All right. So moving on, I will go and minimize this. You know what? I'm going to pause right here because the video is going a lot longer than I expected. And we're only on the first program and there's four of them that make up this suite. So um, come back and we'll continue in subsequent videos. See you soon.